Hello everybody and welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the MSI Dual Fan Radiator. So let's get started. Alright, so what's in the box? We have a radiator over here. Now this radiator has a dimension length. Each desktop has a different dimension length and each radiator has a different dimension length. There is longer and there is uh, this size. This is the smallest I can find which is the length of it is 10.79 inches and there is 11 and a half inches and also 12 and a half inches. Also they come in three uh, different fans on them or just two like this one over here now for the case that we have it's gonna we're gonna install the 10.79 inch one and measure your case before you end up buying the top uh, the top part of the case I will show you when we install it inside now out of the first bag there is the 10 uh, the 1150 socket uh, screws. These are for the 1150 socket, 1151, 1155, 1156 and 1366 sockets. So the LGA sockets you're gonna have a bag of screws with these brackets and mounts uh, or spacers. If you don't have these you won't be able to install this on an Intel LGA 1150 or 1151. For AMD we have AMD 3 and AMD 4 uh, CPUs and, and the TRX and SP3 sockets you can use these with this screws with these screws over over here and also this is for the LG uh, A2011 you can use these with the Intel uh, screws for the Intel L, uh, LG A2011 and 2066 over here we have the screws for the fans to install on the radiator and we have a power cable over here and we have more power if you wanted to take from the power supply and get the device connected. So let's set up the radiator before we end up installing it in the computer and uh, let's see how it goes. Let's get started. Alright guys, now let's install the fans. I forgot to mention earlier that of course we need thermal paste. Thermal paste will give contact between the cooling system over here and the CPU head. So if you don't put thermal paste between this and the CPU, well, you'll have a burning computer. And of course we're not going to forget to remove this sticker over here before we insert the thermal paste on it. Alright, anyways now let's uh, install the fans. And now the fans, you're going to make sure that you're going to install it this way. I'm going to install the cables upwards just in case uh, we can reroute the cables this way in our motherboard whenever we install them in the computer. And um, before tightening the screws of these fans on this device, it's really pretty easy, but before tightening them, uh, we're going to just uh, install them halfway before we get them tightened. You don't want to tighten them and then you need to just maneuver them a little bit. So let's just insert them slowly and then we start the tightening process. Right, there I have it. Now we installed the fans on the radiator and we are left with these screws. These screws are going to mount the radiator in our case. So let's get that case in and start installing this device. And now for those of you who already have a CPU installed and a heatsink, make sure you remove it before this process slowly. You don't want to crack anything before you do this. So let's get our computer and start installing this device. Alright, now for those of you who have a heatsink already installed in the computer and don't know how to remove it, I'm going to demonstrate removing it through this uh, one that I already have installed. Now we're going to use this side of the desktop and we're going to use the bottom side of the desktop to remove all the mounts that we had in brackets for this CPU. I'm just going to run a thorough um, uninstallation of this current installed heatsink and fan. And, th and then we can skip to the part where we install. Now for those of you who already know how to remove their current heatsink, you can just skip forward the video and the installation process. 
and you can see how I completely installed. Now, I do recommend for your uh, graphic card to be removed. As you see, it is huge and it can get in the way while you're installing. And you wanna do this perfectly and efficiently. All right, so uh, let me show you how to remove your current heatsink. I understand that each heatsink is different, but let's start with the Nikoto over here. The Nikoto over here is, very, is a problematic uh, heatsink with uninstalling and installing and of course as you see we already have a, uh, a beautiful graphic card here installed and it's already in the way all right so first we're going to remove our graphic card we're gonna remove the power supply for that graphic card and put it on the side over here we're going to unscrew the panel here in the back and of course we are going to unscrew the screws that hold the mount for the graphic card This is just so the graphic card can stay in place. Let's remove that. We don't want it falling, so we want to hold on our fingers on it from the sides over here in order for it not to fall down because it can fall and hit the motherboard and you don't want to scratch your own motherboard. Okay, so let's put that on the side. And then there's a button down over here that we got to press all the way down. I I'm not sure that you can see, but this is the release for the GPU cards. So let's get that release. Now, if it doesn't go up with you, that means that lever is still not pressed. So let me remove this slowly out of our case. Yeah, it's a small case. And here we are. We got that graphic card out of the way. And right now we're going to remove the fans out of the Nicotel. Release two screws holding the bracket underneath the motherboard and we will remove that as soon as we turn the computer upside down remove the case from the back and now we are going to remove these two screws to release the heatsink all right so right now we remove our heatsink from the CPU And of course, the thermal paste on the CPU needs to be cleaned in order for us to install the new thermal paste and everything else and all the mounts. And this is the current mounts that we have. We're going to remove them. And the bracket might fall inside the computer from the back. And that's okay. And let's remove the mounts and the spacers from inside of our computer because we're going to have to add new ones. All right, we're going to release the CPU and we're going to get our CPU cleaned off so we can insert new thermal paste as soon as we are done with the installation process. All right, so after getting the CPU cleaned, as you see, it's sparkling new. Let's insert it back. Carefully make sure that the tips are aligned and let's close it. Make sure that it goes underneath the screw over here and then we are going to just plug that in place. Alright, now we're going to remove the bracket that is behind our motherboard and it actually fell on our back panel. So slowly we're going to lift our computer and we're going to release the back door of the desktop case and we're going to remove and reinsert the brand new bracket. Alright, so now we're going to remove our back panel from the computer so we can release the old mount or bracket. Let's get that out. This is our old mount bracket. And this is the new Intel bracket that we are going to install on our computer in order for us to install that radiator. Now, um, I prefer for you to first put it on your CPU socket and behind this way to make sure to know which holes that it's gonna go in. So, they're gonna go in the first holes and we're going to need these long um, screw things and these spacers and we're going to insert them this way we're going to insert it looking like this way as you see it's going to enter like a, 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 D, a D side and then we're going to insert the spacers these little things these little spacers we're going to insert them this way and we're going to press on them hard and they're going to be uh, snugged in like this this is how it's supposed to look like 
I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's how it's supposed to look like. And let's do the other one. And we're gonna make sure that we are going to press on it. It has to be a uh, finish, finished. Uh, the it has to be plushed on the side of the metal part of that uh, uh, mount. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But as you see how it is flushed, that's how it's supposed to be flushed in. And then we will insert the bracket, or spacer, sorry. As you see, they are installed and they should look like this. And now let's slowly insert them in. And this is how it should look installed uh, behind your CPU mount area. Now if it doesn't look this way, then it's not gonna work. It's not gonna get snug. So let's close the panel and we're gonna start working from inside of the computer. All right, so now as you see, we have installed the mount from the back part of the computer. And all we have left is we're going to install these spacers over here. Now this these spacers will hold it, but for you, you can install the computer while standing up so you can hold it from the back and install these spacers. But for the demonstration of this video, and they have the computer uh, on its side currently, I have just one screw in place to hold that bracket so it won't fall down on the other side. Uh, we're going to install our uh, radiator in and then we will install the heatsink for that radiator on our CPU which will be the final step uh, on in, in installing this and of course connecting the power for that radiator. Alright so now let's install our radiator of course we will need these screws in order for us to install it on the computer now make sure you have a desktop that has a filter up in place because we're going to remove this filter and it's going to look like this this is where we are going to install our radiator of course underneath the computer and it will look like this alright so now let's insert our radiator this way and we're going to use the screws that came with the radiator. Now these are the screws that came with the radiator, those little ones. We're going to insert them in these holes. And fast forward this video. So we have all the screws in. Now let's install our filter panel protection from dust. And now we are going to flip the computer and install the rest of the wiring and install the heatsink. Alright guys, so here we have it installed. This is how it looks. And now all we have left is to completely install the RGB and of course install our a bracket and our heatsink area over here. Now we have to remove this from here. And we really need to install this mount over here like this. And right now, as you see, we have these plastic spacers. We're going to insert it in. We're going to remove this and make sure it doesn't fall because we don't want to be looking for it. And so very slowly, we're going to uh, have this removed. And then we are going to insert some thermal paste, little thermal paste. We're not gonna insert a lot of thermal paste on this, so we're gonna insert just a little tiny drop of thermal paste. Alright guys, now there you have it. Now the heatsink is installed and the radiator. And now all we have left is we are going to install the RGBs. Alright, so we are going to install them in series. Now we're going to unplug 
the section over here of this RGP and we are gonna plug it in this one like this and then we are going to take this one over here and we are going to plug it in the other one that we plugged in earlier if you guys remember we're gonna plug it in this one like this this way we will have lightning in all of our system all right now we're gonna get these organized and then we are going to install and test our computer Alright guys, let's plug it in and start up our computer and see how it works. Look at that, look at that. Alright guys, I hope this video helped you out. Please consider subscribing to our channel and uh, see you again next time.